Hi, babe, it's Vinny here, and welcome back to episode 3 of my completionist series here on iCov. We've been taking lots of advantage of these bonus XP weekends. Last week when it was 2.5, we got 2.0 now. So a better time to make some gains. We're getting really close to max, and at the same time, I'm doing a lot of hard and grindy achievements. Now, I have a bunch of offline progress to go over, but before we do that, of course, I got six mystery boxes to give away two winners. Three boxes each. All you gotta do to answer is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your iCov in-game name down below. Alright, so last weekend, it was still 2.5 bonus XP, so I figured I would finish up some specific skills, starting with construction. Uh, I actually ended up desync, and when I logged back in, I completely forgot to start recording again. Uh, so I got literally the entire 99. But it's not a big deal, though, because I literally did the same thing over and over. It's one of those skills. Uh, here's a really great tip, though, if you're doing construction. Everyone says to do larders, but they are nowhere near the best. What you want to do is build a costume room and make cape racks. It's literally triple the XP and half the resources. I also noticed that teak planks were like four times cheaper than oak. And of course gave you more XP too. So hey, Teak, Cape Racks, all the way to 99. I recorded this after 99 so I had some XP reduction, but before, I was getting like 200k XP each Cape Rack, which equaled 1.4 mil XP a run. So yeah, clearly, this didn't take very long at all. As you guys know, there are bonuses when you get 500 mil XP in a skill, so this is definitely a good way to get that. Now, Woodcutting doesn't really need bonus XP. It has a couple achievements for cutting a ton of magic logs, which will get you to 99 anyways. Uh, but it is a good idea to use the bonus XP just to get up to magic logs in the first place. So I got up to around like 78 or something. That way when we're off of bonus XP, I can just go cut all 500 in a row, get those achievements done, and get 99. Oh, and there's also an achievement for opening bird nests if you didn't know, so make sure you pick those up and open them. Now at this point, I figured I'd get fire making out of the way. It's really easy since you can just bonfire it, and you can just use an entire inventory of logs on one. There weren't a lot of achievements for fire making, uh, burn 100 magic logs, which I of course did on my way to 99. I also need to get a piece of pyromancer gear, which sadly I did not get, which kind of sucks. I'm going to have to revisit uh, fire making later to get that. Uh, I did get some burnt pages though, and there we go, 99 fire making. Next up was one I was kind of dreading, and that is rune crafting. There were a couple big achievements for this one, like craft 1000 ZMI runes, 10,000 normal runes. Um, now, don't make fun of me for running all the way to the Zami Mage. I'm stupid. I completely forgot about setting your home area to the Skilling Zone over on Sir Cuntface over here. But yeah, I just kind of banged out the ZMI Altar achievement early. A thousand runes wasn't really that bad. And I was hoping it would give me a lot more XP, but it definitely didn't. The ZMI Altar is not great for XP, but you gotta do it for the achievement. When I went back to normal rune crafting, I was testing out some other runes just to see what gave us the most XP, but I found out that airs were always the best to craft, no matter what level. And this is because on Icov, you get XP for every rune you craft, not every essence you use. Which means you have 7 times air runes and 20 essence, you're actually getting 140 essence worth of XP. So yeah, best XP, and of course it helps you with the 10,000 runes achievement. And we also got a piece of rune crafting gear, which gives us increased XP. But of course, this is like the only skill that doesn't have an achievement for getting the uh, increased XP gear. And then, if you, you might have noticed in the intro, if you didn't, only the second one on our entire account another pet and we got the rift guardian pretty cute pretty cute and look at that sneaky little reference there too if you know where that's from comment down below it's pretty obvious though um and there we go 99 rune crafting and of course the 10,000 runes achievement done as well at this point there was no longer bonus xp so i wanted to move on to skills with lots of slow achievements like fishing like i said before it's best not to waste bonus xp time on a skill like this if you're going for comp because the achievements have you catch around 2,000 different fish which is going to get you to 99 anyways I of course started with the lowest, caught 500 monkfish, and then I went on to Karambons and caught 300 of those. This ended us off at 93 fishing, which is perfect because all we have to catch next is 500 rocktails and 200 dark crabs, and we'll have 99 and all the fishing achievements done. You also might be wondering why I drop all my fish instead of cooking them, and that's because you can actually buy an unlimited amount of raw swordfish from the general store. And raw sharks in the market are super cheap too, so it's really just a waste of XP to run back and forth to the cooking range. And here we are, guys, on the live portion of the episode. Where'd, you, where'd my Rift Guardian go? Come on, little guy. So let's take a look at the skills right now. They're looking really good. I have most of the really grindy ones out of the way. A lot of these are going to be really easy. Agility, thieving, smithing, fishing and cooking, woodcutting, farming as well, because I can just do the, the little seed method where you plant the seeds and you dig them up. Um, the hardest one here is probably going to be mining, but we can actually mine inside the wilderness course to get quicker XP, apparently. Now near the end of the episode, we'll go over all this and the list I have for, you know, all the achievements for these skills. 
because for mining there's like 300 rune ore. But first, I want to get some more green in here. 63 out of 252. I know it's not looking super great, but that's because we haven't completed a lot of the super easy ones that take like two minutes to do. I have a lot of the really hard ones. We did some easy ones last episode, but there's got to be at least like 50 to 100 more. Look at exchange a pouch for shards. That literally takes five seconds. Let's get some green. Actually, enter another person's house. I wonder if there's any gilded altars. POH altar. Boom. Done. All right, another easy peasy achievement. There we go. It didn't work. Maybe I gotta do a pouch. There we go. Exchange a pouch for shards. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I think we actually have the Guam planted. There we go. Dude, we're at this, at this rate, we're gonna have comp by the end of the episode. Okay, this one's bugging the shit out of me. I'm gonna go catch that bunny. Okay, so you actually need a box trap and a snare. Because you gotta catch a ferret to get the rabbit. That's cool. It's cute. So we place a snare in front of one. And then we use the ferret to flush him out. Yeah. There we go. There's no sign of your ferret. It seems to have run away. Yeah, that's the, isn't that the point? Oh, look at him! Holy fuck, he's quick! Alright, I think... <laughs> I think we gotta place it here then. There he is! Oh, big... There it is. Oh, we already cut... Oh, we got two! On one. Two for one. And we got a rabbit foot. Alright, thank you, bud. Alright, we gotta craft a tiara. I don't know about the soul bores one. We'll, we'll figure that one out later. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Oh yeah, there are actual quests as well, which we're gonna have to get to at some point. We'll probably do them all at once. Okay, upgrade a skill cape, super easy. We literally just gotta buy one and then use it on them. Alright, 69 achievements, baby. Kill a king black dragon. Okay, I think we just gotta do that. Slippy little b bitch. Alright, why am I hitting nothing? Isn't he? I thought he was weak to stab. He is weak to stab. That's the first thing he's weak to. Let's see you later, Hick. There we go. Okay, so we actually have to use a bull rush scroll, and I think you could buy the bronze minotaur for it from the donator shop. Wait, can I use the rune minotaur? I don't see why not. It still says bull rush special. Why is my familiar hidden? Did I? All right, buddy, let's do this bull rush. Why is my familiar hidden? Can you tell me? What does that mean? All right, there he is. He's right here. Bull rush. There we go. That was kind of anticlimactic. Lottery ticket. I have not bought a lottery ticket. All right, gambler right here. So seven mil. No, I'm stupid. Okay, seven mil for a lottery ticket. Yeah, I'll do it. Twenty six minutes. All right, I'll take it. Give me it. Hell yeah, Sarah Brew. Oh my god, I'm such a dumbass. I didn't keep any of the bird nests I got. Oh hell yeah, one GP. Why is this guy even bothering? Selling them for one GP, and it's already crushed too. Come on, bro. Okay, that bada bing. Uh, bada oh oh bada boom. There we go. Oh, I never used the banker at the ZMI altar. Okay. Buy an item from the vote store. Okay. I might as well. Uh, this this one's one, so we'll buy that. There we go. Ooh, we are flying through these guys. Yes. All right. There we go. Oh, he puts them in. He makes them into Cerebrew flasks. I like that. Okay. Uh, another one. Buy back an item from the Grim Reaper. Hopefully, we have something in here. Perfect. There we go, dude. Very 15 hour bones. We'll also make some overloads. It's 10 overloads. All right. Oh, we got Bury of 100 Bones of any kind as well. Perfect. I could have sworn I checked that earlier and I was at 24. That's just, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't tell us. I bet you that these count as like 10 each or something for some reason. And it didn't even get the... Oh my god. I didn't even get the Bury 15 Org Bones one. Oh no, I got it. Okay, these for sure count like more. Alright, Overload Potions. We actually need a lot of stuff. The worst part is, dr is drinking these to turn them into to three doses you could if you're doing a bunch you could probably decant them into three but all right we got all the pieces of the puzzle including the torsos how many can we even do we need one two three four five six i wonder if this is even good money making i would never do this for money making this is so aids yes there we go hell yeah and oh uh, there we go all right 10 overloads done let's go see how much these are worth could this be a good money making method okay so an overload flask ooh yeah, only 1.5 mil. That's probably not too great, unless you farm all the herbs by yourself. Wait, don't I have a dragon fire shield? It says craft a dragon fire shield special. I do. Ah, uh, yeet. And later. All right, this one's kind of stupid. Uh, literally just recolor a vine whip. You just need two vine whips. And what color do we do? Oh, is it, oh, is it blue right now? Let's do it white. There we go. It's not, it's not even white. 
Okay, we can enchant a Dragonstone Amulet. Does anybody have this? Oh, cool. 65k. Give me that. There we go. Um, some of these I'm skipping. I'm just really just looking for all the easiest ones. We get those out of the way. We know what we're dealing with. A hundred votes. All right, there we go. Another three on there. Let's make sure we vote every time I get on. Ooh, we got a medium lamp. Okay, thanks. Oh god, I totally forgot about this one. Earn one bill GP with Elking. That one is such a pain in the ass, especially when the economy is more fresh. Oh, it's scrolls, so I only need to make 100 Iron Titans. You know, I feel like we could... Do we have 100 Crimsons? 95. But at the same time, can't I just buy Iron Titan? Hopefully there's Iron Titan pouches over here. Oh, no, Moss... Oh, there's not Iron Titan. Everyone but. Okay, if I can just buy five. Fuck. Alright, let's get five Crimson really quick and get out of here. I never want to revisit this place again. Okay, these are going to be in the store. What, let's make a guess. Iron bars are going to be in the market for 800k each. Nah, yeah, probably actually. Because who would ever actually make them and sell them? I need 100. 10k? Hell yeah, dude. Alright, that's not bad at all. Oh, oh, you need iron plate bodies. I'm a fucking idiot. 5 mil each? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Okay, I'm buying a bunch more iron bars. Okay, and we'll do that later. We gotta make a bunch of plate bodies, so that's fine. Bank 100 items with the yak. See, now that's easy. So I think I can just put stuff in, in his ass. And then cast special. Uh, I think you can actually do it on stacked items, so... Oh, what the fuck? I think I had to get 100 of them. Alright, well, I'm just gonna keep this in my inventory while I do more. And we, we'll click it every now and then. There's a lot of really easy construction ones I can do. But I'll do that next time. Now, why the fuck is this? Okay. So, rune crafting, I got two rune crafting pieces, the hat and the body, and the pet, but there was no achievement for the, getting those pieces. Yet, on skills that you need the pieces, like fire making and fishing, I got 99 and I didn't even get a single piece. What the, what the fuck? Alright, so now we're coming to a bunch of bigger ones. Uh, when I do my first raid, I'll get a ton because there's a bunch of defeat each of the, you know, bosses. There's also some ones like fishing and stuff in raids. There's probably like 15 I'll get on my first raid. Um, and then there's a bunch of big bossing ones, uh, 68 Waves of Inferno, and then, you know, just ones like 50 Demonic Gorillas, 35 Sire, Smoke Devils. We'll start doing those. I really need to start making money, because I'm super poor, so that would be a great place to start. But it is double XP right now, so I'm going to focus on maxing out my skills, and then during the week, I'll start doing the bossing stuff where it doesn't really matter if I have bonus XP, so let's see. What should I do here? I keep doing this. I know mining is going to be a bitch. We're going to do mining during this double XP weekend. Hopefully get to 99. Uh, you get really fast XP if you do it in the wilderness resource area. Maybe I'll just say fuck it and do thieving. We can actually make a decent amount of money doing this. So yeah, we'll get thieving to 99. I think we'll also do fletching because there's only one achievement there. And that is the add 500 bolt tips, which is going to be super quick. But yeah, that's the plan. A lot of easy skills to max out now. Slayer would be a little bit tricky. I'll probably do that on double XP too. But I barely did any Slayer and I got to 91. It's actually a lot quicker than I thought. And achievements. 83 achievements right here. There's still a lot of really easy ones, especially when we get money. A lot of viable ones. I mean, there's a few I haven't done, like Team Dungeon. That's Team Dungeon Engineering. Takes two minutes. 50 Master Farmers. Takes three minutes. Dual Arena. Medium Pouch. There's a bunch of really, really easy ones. All of these. But I'm going to start focusing on some of these harder ones. Some of the ones that take a little longer. 50 Barrows Chests. I'll probably just start doing Barrows here and there. And then we also got to do the quest too, so maybe I'll do that during the week when the bonus XP is off. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode, episode 3 of our Completionist series. We're really, really close to max, and at the same time, we got a ton of achievements done. Oh, pest control two times points, huh? Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to go do that then while I edit. That's definitely a good idea. Oh, there's actually one for 100 games of pest control. Oh, God. Okay, that one also is going to take a long. Like I said, I feel like there's only about 50 of those really crazy ones. I'm actually going to list those down on my little notepad too. Just the ones that I feel like are going to take the longest time so we can start tackling those slowly but surely. Why is nobody going in? But this should make it go a lot quicker. I mean, we don't really even need the double points, to be honest, because we're going to have to do 100 anyways. But I guess we might as well, because there'll be more people here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, we're giving away six mystery boxes. Wait, why am I killing these? Six mystery boxes, two winners each. Six mystery boxes, two winners, three boxes each. All you got to do to answer is like the video, subscribe to my channel, Turn on post notifications and leave your icon in-game name down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're super close to max. And then we're going to be just tackling every single achievement as quick as possible. And we'll have comp in no time. So, like the video if you did enjoy. So, I'm going to turn on a little more videos. And have a nice day.